Hello everyone, it's Deborah Morgan. Welcome back to the Kids Health Revolution Kitchen. We are back with another live school snack series video. And today, I don't actually have a recipe for you. Today we are talking about a couple of convenience foods that you can use to throw in those lunch kits. They're still really gut healthy and nutritious. They pack a good nutritious punch to them and they're a good backup to be able to use sometimes when we don't have time to get in the kitchen and make up a whole bunch of delicious stuff. Now I'm always talking about how easy it is to be in the kitchen and quick and we don't have to spend a lot of time and it's true but sometimes we're running a little low on the homemade stuff or uh, we just don't get it done and this week is one of those weeks for me. Um, I've blazed through all the stuff I had packed up in the freezer and I'm not feeling all that great. So I like to have a few things that I can have as a backup. So good old applesauce, organic applesauce. I don't love that they're in a plastic container. If you don't make your own applesauce, then you could certainly just use these ones every now and then. Uh, they're something that we always have on hand in the pantry in case I need them to pop into the lunch kit for a quick little backup I don't have anything homemade on hand. So homemade organic applesauce organic in this case is really important Hey, Kenny, how are you? Uh, the other thing here is These little pumpkin seed snacks. These ones are the spicy ones You can get cinnamon ones as well and they're uh, really handy to have on hand as well pumpkin seeds are full of zinc full of amazing omega-3 fatty acids and of course protein. So they're a great little snack to send with your kiddos to school. Um, so I would just throw these in a little jar and send them with him to school. Um, the other one that my kiddo loves are these little sea snacks. So these are a little um, treat that you can pack into the lunch kit. They are full of a uh, good healthy source of iodine. Uh, so that's always good. Good source of iron. Uh, what else have these guys got in them? I can't remember off the top of my head. A uh, decent source of iron, vitamin C, calcium as well in these little ones. So that's a good thing to pack into the lunch kit. Uh, these two happen to be AIP friendly. So if you're on autoimmune protocol, you could pack these in your lunch. They're also uh, lower histamine options for you as well. So those are options. This is an option if you're doing the GAPS diet or paleo diet or you're just trying to pack more nutrient-dense foods in. And then this is a little one that I will send occasionally to my little bug uh, for his lunch. They're the Chia Squeeze. Um, they're sometimes, you know, kids like to have these fun little packaged foods. They remind me a little bit of baby food, but all the kids seem to like these ones. This one's a mango coconut and it's got chia seeds in it. So uh, it's got good fatty acid profile, good protein, lots of fiber, and there's really not too much in terms of yucky stuff in this one. It does have um, citric acid in it, so it's not something I would use on a daily basis, but every now and then as a little snack backup, it's a good one to have on hand. So there you go, a really quick video today uh, coming from the Kids Health Revolution household because Mama Bear today is not feeling all that great. So um, you got a couple little options that you can use, convenience foods to have on hand uh, for those days or those weeks where stuff comes up and you just don't have time to get it all done in the kitchen. You can still make sure that you're packing real foods that are full of great nutrient density and things that your kids are gonna like and they're gonna eat. Next week, we're gonna come back to you with another homemade recipe. I'm gonna be whipping up a car roasted carrot hummus for us that's actually GAPS friendly, SCD friendly, so it doesn't have any legumes in it. It's got some secret ingredients in there. Tastes really good, really simple to make. You can batch prepare it and have lots on hand for the week and your kids are gonna love it. So I hope you'll tune in next week, same time, Thursday, four o'clock, and make sure that you join the Kids Health Revolution private Facebook group so that you can get the downloadable copy of all the recipes after we're done the show. So that's me for today. We are in and out, quick and dirty today. I hope that helped you out. If you have questions or comments, post them below, and I will make sure that I answer all those questions as I can. And if you like the video, of course, give it a little like. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Ooh.